Hey Closeboat community, this is Ofer Evnery from RealWave and today you're going to learn how to upgrade your real estate bot to be able to search the MLS by criteria using an AI agent inside the GHL workflow. Let's do it! In my last video, I showed you how we can search for a specific property and have the bot search the MLS and get us all the details. So something like uh, get me the details uh, for the listing listing at 849 North Market Street, Seattle. But today I want to show you how we can do something like searching the MLS by criteria. So. Uh, something like I want to buy a house in Redmond three or four bedrooms at least 2,000 square feet um, price under um, two million dollars uh, give me a couple of options let's see how it can handle that and boom, MLS search results straight to my uh, messenger window. Let's try something even more challenging. Um, I want to uh, buy a house or vacant land in Seattle uh, with NR zoning, um, alley or corner lot. Um, uh, and under one Point two million dollars. So this is something more for developers. Let's see how it responds to that. And there we go. Um, two options: one vacant land, one house, um, hopefully for demolition that support the zoning that we want and features corner lot, ideal for development. And um, let's uh, go ahead and see how um, we created this uh, bot. Just a second before we begin, please hit like and subscribe the channel. This way you'll get notification when I release new videos which are coming soon. Let's begin. Let's start from the close bot side. Our bot is pretty simple. It has only two objectives. Each objective designated to answer a specific type of question. The first objective, similar to what you've, we've seen in the previous video, is the property explorer. And this is triggered when the lead is asking for details about a specific address. The objective is to provide information based on the property um, information and the fields are um, designated to provide this property information. The new priority we've added for this demo, the MLS search, is the MLS Explorer. And it's very similar, um, give info. Um, the fields are different instead of having a lot of information about a specific address, uh, the details we're going to provide to this <clears throat> um, objective is the search results, which we are going to inject in um, the workflow. Um, one important thing to notice is that um, this bot never stops on objectives because we want it to keep going um, forever as long as the user is asking questions. Let me show you how the go high level uh, side of things look by the process message uh, workflow. Let me show you how it looks. The first thing we're doing in the process message after making sure that the bot is um, not off is to figure out what kind of action the user um, is trying to activate. In our case, we have a search for address or we have a search by criteria. So the extract action is an um, chat GPT step, which basically extracts the action. It figures out if the user wanted to um, search an address or search by criteria or anything else. And we have an action switcher that branches the workflow according to the desired action. <clears throat> we have an address search, a search by criteria and all others. In the previous video, we built the find address uh, workflow in which we extract the address, again by a ChatGPT uh, step, 
and if an address was provided, we trigger dash real, we search for this specific address, um, and we get the results, save them in the property data, and we can provide the information to the um, user. In this new demo, we have the search for properties or search MLS um, branch in which we search for um, a, a query by criteria. So I want to buy a house in Redmond, three or four bedrooms, at least 2,000 square feet. Um, and we have many co different conditions, um, different type of conditions here in the second query. And the challenge is how do you break it down into um, tangible parameters you can pass to um, to an MLS search API. Um, and what we eventually ended up doing was design um, our own AI agent based on ChatGPT that knows how to do exactly that. It takes the message, breaks it down into parameters and passes it to the MLS search. So basically when we look at the search MLS agent, it's contacting the RealWave API um, with our own token and we just send the message body as is with instruction to output the uh, result in JSON format that the AI can understand. We then take the search results, save them um, inside our property search custom field in the contact. And last but not least, we update the goals accomplished of the bot to mark property explorer as finished and MLS explorer as not. So <clears throat> if we look at the bot again, it will signal the bot that this part is completed and this is not so it will force the bot to use priority to in the same manner uh, when we save property data in the address found branch we update goals accomplished to mls explorer so it would go the other path in both branches we end up looping into the uh, close bot webhook um, but now close close bot has the right information um, and it's configured with the route goals to go ahead and complete the request. And we can see it works pretty uh, nicely. And um, this is just a demo to show you um, how the basic concept works, but the possibilities are endless. And, um, and I'm looking forward to see um, what you guys do with that. See you soon.